Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade English, week number 7 and day number 1. Um, today's lesson is going to be about reading and comprehension. Uh, pretty much like that's what we do for every uh, day 1 of this curriculum. So we are going to be doing reading and comprehension. We're going to get a chance to read through a story. And then right afterwards, we are going to answer some questions to measure our understanding of the text that we just read. So please go ahead and get your notebooks and get your workbooks. Turn your workbooks over to page number 45. The story is going to be there so you can follow along with us. But if you don't have your workbooks right now, that's fine. You're welcome just to watch on the screen with us. The story and the content is going to come in front of you so you can follow along with it. Uh, with that. All right, so without further ado, let's get to reading week number seven and day number one. In a small village, there lived two children named Anna and Michael. Anna and Michael were neighbors, but they were not friends. In fact, they were often quite mean to each other. One day, Anna and Michael were both walking to the village well to get some water for their families. When they arrived, they saw that there was a long line of people waiting to get water. Anna and Michael got in line behind each other, but they were still angry with each other and refused to speak. As they waited in line, they noticed an elderly woman struggling to carry a heavy jug of water by herself. The woman was old and frail, and it was clear that she was having a difficult time. But no one in the line was helping her. Anna and Michael both noticed the woman's struggle, and they both felt a tug on their hearts. They looked at each other and realized that they needed to put their differences aside and work together to help the woman. Anna suggested that they carry the jug of water for the woman, and Michael agreed. Together, they lifted the jug and carried it to the woman's home. As they walked, they talked and laughed together, and they realized that they had more in common than they thought. When they arrived at the woman's home, they helped her pour the water into her jars, and she thanked them both for their kindness. Anna and Michael smiled at each other, feeling proud of what they had accomplished together. From that day on, Anna and Michael were no longer enemies. They had learned that kindness could bring people together, even when they had been at odds with each other. They continued to help each other and to spread kindness wherever they went, and they became the best of friends. The story of Anna and Michael teaches us the importance of kindness and the power it has to bring people together. We should always be kind to others, even when they are not kind to us, and we should always be willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. By doing so, we can create a world filled with love and compassion. All right, hopefully you got a chance to follow along with us as we read through week number seven and day number one. So uh, we are going to go ahead and turn to page number 46 over here. We're going to try to answer a few questions. Uh, question number one is, why was the woman in this story struggling to carry her water jug? Well, the reason is going to be stated in paragraph number five. Uh, the woman's, okay, maybe paragraph number, number three, actually. The woman was old and frail, and it was clear that she was having a difficult time but no one in the line was helping her. So the reason she was struggling was because she just, just hold, right? She was an old lady trying to carry her water. So please go ahead and document that as the answer in your workbook or better still in your notebook. All right, question number two. What was the relationship between two neighbors described in this story? Well, um, you're gonna see right from paragraph number one and number two that uh, Anna and Michael, they didn't have a good relationship. They were they were neighbors, but they were not friends. Uh, in fact, they were quite mean to each other. They wouldn't talk to each other. So the relationship was kind of sour. 
okay so that's gonna be the answer to question number two over there all right question number three which opportunity the did these neighbors seize to improve their relationship with each other well that's gonna be the opportunity to help an old lady carry her water jug home so that's the opportunity and when they showed that action of kindness to this old lady uh, that action of kindness brought the two of them together and they let go of their differences and they started uh, becoming friends again all right so please try to document that that as your answer to question number three and in fifth grade right now you should be able to document your answers in complete sentences so please go ahead and do that all right question number four what does the story teach us well the story teaches us that kindness is gonna heal so when you get an opportunity to be kind, especially when you're working on a kind project together with somebody that you couldn't get along together with, that kindness is gonna bring you together. So that's potentially what the author of the story is trying to let us realize from the story. All right, so moving on right now to the vocabulary building section of the reading. Um, you're gonna see certain words that potentially you may not have heard of before words like neighbor like struggle like accomplish like differences like odds like elderly um like angry so let's go ahead we're going to turn to our dictionary right now and the dictionary we normally turn to is going to be dictionary.com so you, you're welcome to tell your mom or your tell, tell your dad to scroll to dictionary.com open a browser and type in dictionary.com and then click enter on it and it's going to bring you over here so if we were to type in the word accomplish for example we're going to see how that word is pronounced by clicking on this little audio button over here. Accomplish. All right, let's make it louder. Accomplish. Do you hear that? Accomplish. Accomplish. All right. So what about this funny, funny looking symbols in front of it? Well, this is the enunciation part of it. So prior to this audio tool over here, people are going to look at the symbols and then they can pronounce or enunciate the word properly. So you can see over here that this word is going to be a three syllable word. In other words, there are three parts to this word. Accomplish. Accomplish. Well, and you are going to see certain letters that are boldened over there to let you know that you are going to place emphasis on those letters. Uh, and then the others, you're not going to place emphasis on them. And it's going to be pretty much like that in another uh, way of spelling words, which is going to be the IPA version of it. You are going to see a little apostrophe over here, apostrophe, to the beginning of that middle syllable, which means you are going to place emphasis on this middle syllable over there. And the same thing is going to be applicable to your paper dictionary. So if you have a paper dictionary, tell your dad to help you get one and turn to it. You are going to see what we are talking about. All right, so what is the meaning of the word accomplish? Well, it is a verb. And it means to bring to its goal or conclusion, carry out, perform, or finish. Well, you can't forget that. You know what it takes to finish your schoolwork, right? <laughs> so accomplish is going to be equivalent to finish. All right. Good word. So please go ahead and do that exercise and type it into your dictionary. The words over here. Neighbor. Look at the phonetic spelling of it understand how it is enunciated understand its meaning and try to use those these words in sentences all right would you do that for me boys and girls i sure hope so well that's what i've got for you today boys and girls remember god cares about you and so do we Bye bye i'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born